Welcome to our demonstration of a federated discovery and orchestration of a secure AI application. Here's the scenario. A user needs an AI service. In our case, a service that transforms a handwritten offline form, think fax, and yes, they still exist, into digital data. The data, in this case the forms, are sensitive and need to be protected. But the user also wants to leverage capabilities from different providers. To enable this scenario using the GAIA-X principles and architecture, we have developed the following workflow. The starting point for the user journey is the GAIA-X portal. The portal already includes the services needed for the demonstration. So what we won't show today is how providers register services and how they specify the requirements for their services. So our providers have already registered their services in the GAIA-X portal. In the first step, the user searches for and selects a desired service. In our case, an AI service. The portal then guides the user through a series of steps to select additional services required to run the AI service. The user will select a storage service, a Kubernetes service, and an orchestration service based on her requirements. This distinct combination of services enables the user to use the AI service in alignment with her specific requirements. This workflow shows core GAIA-X principles in action. It shows that users are empowered because they can make a choice between different options. And it also demonstrates how users can combine different services to match their needs. Now let's take a more detailed look at each individual component. We'll start with the GAIA-X portal. First, the user is searching for an AI application. In our case, a handwriting detection. She has found the application and requests the service. Now the GAIA-X portal guides the user to select additional services required to run the application. First, the user needs to select a storage provider. In our case, she wants a high availability service with client-side encryption that runs in Europe and the S3 types already pre-selected because this is a requirement by the application. The application also needs an environment in which it runs. The user requires a C5 attestation, the Seco stack hypervisor that the service runs in Germany, and several security features. Our user chooses the SecoStack Kubernetes service. Finally, the user needs to select an orchestrator that combines these services. In our case, she chooses the Cloud and Heat orchestrator, Krake, because she wants an open source orchestrator that allows energy optimization. The user has now selected all required services. So let's now take a look at the orchestrator, which brings all of these different parts together. So we're now moving on from the portal to the orchestrator. Krake orchestrates the deployment and initialization of each infrastructure component needed by the application. What we see here is the web interface of the orchestration software. We have received all required information from the GAIA-X portal and transferred it to the OpenRC and the Kubernetes manifest files. As you can imagine, this step could also be automated and happen without a user interface. We also see the S3 endpoint, but what may be even more interesting is what happens under the hood. First, all services, secure stack, Kubernetes, the AI inference service, are deployed so that they can be used. Second, after the services are running, the AI service pulls the encrypted model into the secure environment and provides the endpoint for the user.
Then the image data, in our case encrypted images of handwritten forms, are transferred into the secure environment and analyzed. Now let's see how that looks like for the user. The user can select one of the images stored at provider A and use the AI service in the secured environment of provider B. We're selecting an image and as we can see, the AI service recognizes the number 43 in the form. We can try another one. And again, we see that the service here recognizes the number 19 in our form. So the demonstrator enabled the user to convert offline forms into digital data while fulfilling all requirements regarding security, location, and so on. As you could see, our demonstrator empowered the user to combine different services from different providers in a new and easy way so that her requirements were met. I'd like to thank everyone involved in this project and encourage all of you to get involved in GaiaX so that we can work together on the many pieces of the GaiaX puzzle. Thank you very much and I'm looking forward to your questions.